let's assume the FAA gives you these numbers instead, that you're traveling at 100 miles per hour and you want to travel 250 miles. And the question is, how long will it take you to cover that distance? Okay, we don't have 100 on the flight computer, so we're going to use 10 to represent 100 instead. So we find 10 on the outside scale, and 100 miles an hour mean that you've traveled 100 miles in 60 minutes. So rotate the inner dial until 60 minutes is underneath the 10 representing 100 miles on the outside scale. We're setting up the ratio that says how fast we're traveling. So the 10 representing the 100 miles that we're traveling is next to the 60 minutes on the inside scale, 100 miles an hour or 100 miles in 60 minutes. And now we've got our ratio set up on the flight computer. Now we want to know if we fly for 250 miles, how long will it take us to do that? So what you do next is look around the outside scale of the flight computer. Do not move the inner dial. Move the whole flight computer together and you're looking for 25 because we don't have a 250 on the flight computer. We have to use 25 to represent 250 miles. So we find the 25 on the outside scale and the next scale in will tell us how many minutes it will take to fly 250 miles. And it will take 150 minutes to fly 250 miles. And if you look on the far inner scale of the flight computer, you'll see that 150 minutes is 2 hours and 30 minutes. And common sense will tell you that that's what it has to be and not 15 minutes because you're only doing 100 miles an hour and you're flying for 250 miles, which is two and a half times that. So it's going to take two and a half hours to cover that distance. It's going to take 150 minutes or two hours and 30 minutes to cover the distance of 250 miles. Okay, here's another set of numbers the FAA will give you. They'll say to you that you're traveling 120 miles an hour, and instead of flying for a certain distance, you fly for a certain length of time. At 120 miles an hour, you fly for two hours, and the question is, how much distance will you have traveled? How far will you have gone in those two hours? Well, just in your head. If you're flying 120 miles every hour and you fly for two hours, how many miles will you have covered? Well, twice 120 or 240 miles. But let's take a look at it on the flight computer. On the flight computer, find the 12 on the outside scale. You don't have 120, so you'll use the 12 to represent 120 miles. And you're doing 120 miles an hour, so rotate the inside scale until 60 minutes is underneath the 12 representing 120 miles on the outside scale and you've set up the ratio of 120 miles in 60 minutes, 120 miles an hour, using the 12 to represent 120. Now you're going to fly for two hours, so look around the inside scale of the flight computer. Two hours is 120 minutes, so find 12 on the inside scale representing 120 minutes. And the outside scale of the flight computer will tell you how many miles you're going to cover. And when you find that 12 on the inner scale for 120 minutes, the far inner scale confirms that that is indeed two hours worth of flying. And the outside scale says that you will have covered 240 miles. What you're doing is setting up a ratio on the flight computer. And once you have that ratio set up, there's all kinds of problems that you can figure out. Let's assume that the FA gives you a different set of numbers. Let's assume the numbers look like this. You're flying at 140 miles an hour and you're going to fly for 75 miles and they want to know how long that's going to take you. 
Well, what we want to set up first on the flight computer is how fast are we traveling? And the how fast is 140 miles per hour or per 60 minutes. So on the outside scale of the flight computer, find 14, which represents 140. We don't have 140, so we use the 14 to represent it instead. And we're covering 140 miles every hour. So rotate that inside dial until the 60 minutes is underneath the 14 for 140, and now we've got our ratio set up that we're covering 140 miles every 60 minutes or every hour. Now we're going to fly for 75 miles. Which scale are the miles on? Are they on the inner scale or the outer scale? Which one? The outer scale. Miles are always on the outer scale, and the scales are labeled that way. So look around the outside scale of the flight computer until you find 75 miles. And on the outside scale of the flight computer, keep looking on around it. There it is, 75 uh, miles. And here's 70. Uh, and to the right of it, here's 80. So we've got 70, 71, 2, 3, 4. This longer tick mark is 75 miles. And when you find 75 miles on the outside scale, the next scale in will tell you how many minutes it will take you to cover that distance. And here's 30 minutes. Over here is 35 minutes. So here's 30, 31, 32, a little past 32, 75 miles is a little past 32, but not quite to 32 and a half, so it looks like it would take about 32 minutes to fly 75 miles at 140 miles per hour would take 32 minutes. Now leave the flight computer set exactly the way it is, don't touch it at all but let's assume a different set of numbers. Let's assume that you're flying still at the 140 miles an hour, but you're going to fly a certain time instead of a certain distance. And that time is one hour and 30 minutes. And the question is, how far will you get during that time? Well, we've already got our ratio set up on the flight computer of 140 miles in every 60 minutes or every hour. So all we have to do is rotate the entire flight computer and look for one hour and 30 minutes on the inner scale of the flight computer. So take a look on the far inside scale. And here is one hour and 30 minutes and the outside scale of the flight computer tells you how many miles you will have traveled. And how many miles will you have traveled? 210 miles. The 21 stands in this case for 210 miles. Now, how do you know that that's 210 miles and not 21 miles? Well, the way you know that is common sense because we already know that our speed is 140 miles every hour. And we're flying for more than an hour. We're flying for an hour and a half. And therefore, we're certainly going to fly for more than 140 miles. So it couldn't possibly be 21 miles that we cover in an hour and a half. That means it has to be 210 miles instead. Common sense is what tells us how many zeros, if any, we need to add on those numbers on the flight computer. Because this could be 21, 210, 2100, just depending on the problem that you're working.